decisions. Sam has decided to <laughs> take advantage of the, the cool metal flooring back there. While I look for our nice new flooring, the one that I liked, it seems, has been discontinued. I really liked this uh, Gray Wind Forest one, but it is not a thing anymore, unfortunately. But there's something else out there. I can just tell. All right, guys, so I just got off the phone with uh, the dude that put my window in on my last van, and he's still uh, doing his thing. He's still uh, very highly acclaimed here in San Diego. Uh, Sprinter Pit Stop. I don't remember the dude's name, but I'll get it tomorrow. Um, but he's gonna put my windows in next Wednesday. Super pumped, so things are moving. We found a little dog park all to ourselves. That means no mask, super nice, all right. Some of the ways this dog lays, I tell you what. But then again, I'm just draped over the, <laughs> the front door. Something I didn't even think about until getting into it. This is one thing I learned is like protecting the floor and like prepping it for before I even put the sound deadening in. So I'm looking into what I should use for that. And it's good because I'm taking my time. I'm doing things really, really thought out and not just winging it because I want this to turn out really well and I'm doing a lot of it by myself. Um, so guys, yeah, if you guys are doing this, just, you know, put your thought into it. Make sure the decision fits you. Don't go with like what someone else is doing because that might be what they should do for them. But, you know, make sure it fits you and your build and your goals and everything and your budget and everything like that. So, um, yeah. This is sweet, look what just happened. Window is here. That is a good sign. Was waiting, was waiting. I thought this was gonna take a lot longer to get here, but here we are. Got the side window. Now I just need to slide it into the garage. Let's go. Step one of van build process is cleaning. Fun. How this may look like a blank slate. There's a layer of dirt and grime because this was used as a cargo vehicle. So we're gonna clean it up and do a little rest prevention. Um, Cause yes, we are gonna put a subfloor on this. We're gonna cover the whole floor, but we don't want rust to sneak up on us and I didn't know this was part of the process until of my many, many numerous YouTube videos that I watched. This is apparently a very important part of the process. Do not skip. If your van has exposed metal like this, it's worn, it's scratched, it is prone to rust and we do not want that. We want longevity. It's pretty clean for the most part though, I will say. There's just a couple spots, but we are not gonna let those spots go untreated. So that's what today is. Got some supplies from our favorite place in the world right now. Home Depot. So I quickly determined that the best course of action is gonna be to I'm use the sprayer to kind of rinse it out because I scrub and then it's just like it needs to be rinsed out. Um, so yeah. <laughs>
Well, it's definitely cleaner. Now I'm gonna let this thing dry, go park it in the sun, let it air out. But yeah, this is definitely a necessary spot. So get a nice clean base and then we can build upon that, but yeah. One tip that I found online um, that's already proving useful, knee pads. We're not even to the reason I bought them, but they're already coming in handy. And they're a lot of fun on this slippery floor. Check this out. The, the hack of the day. rust -Oleum Clean Metal Primer. Just to give you an idea of what I'm doing right now, I'm basically just hitting all the uh, exposed metal parts with some of this uh, paint primer, and then I'm gonna go over it with some uh, enamel, protective gloss, paint. Since it was a cargo vehicle, um, you know, some of the paint was worn off from boxes and stuff, so I'm basically just recoating it now. Got the primer. It's not perfect. But it's better. Anything I put on this is gonna help, so. for tonight uh let this dry we i got a little bit of still got some of this left and so i'm going to save it and let it dry a little bit and see where it needs to uh what's left if there's any other exposed area which i'm sure there is um basically i'm just trying to cover any exposed metal um but yeah so i might have to, the sun's going down now might have to finish that uh, in the morning and then let it dry and then we will get started on the sound deadener. So I have some kill mat is what it's called. And then I will roll all that on to dampen some sound. And yeah, that'll be the jump. That'll get us started on the floor project, which will happen for real, for real next week um, when the flooring comes. Very excited. When the floor is all in here, it's gonna start looking really, really like this is gonna be a home, so.